Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a subdomain in IONOS hosting and take you through all the process to set up a WordPress site or any other kind of a website that you need to uh, create with that subdomain. The first step we're going to take is sign into your IONOS uh, profile. After sign up, there are two things that you need to do. The first thing we need to create a subdomain. Then step two, we shall also set up the website. To create a domain, just go to menu and uh, you come to domain and SSL. Then uh, you need to come down to look for quick links and uh, go to create subdomain. In this area, it gives you opportunity to create your subdomain. So you can give a name of your domain. For this case, let me call this uh, let me call these videos. So this is going to be a connection of this. So if you want to create more than one subdomain, you can actually check this other than you going back to the other side. But if in case you want just one subdomain, you just uncheck this, then you create. So this may take a few minutes. So you just have to, to wait a little bit. And once you finish that, you can go ahead to make sure that the domain you've created has come in. So you go and go back to domain and SSL. Then you come to subdomains. So in this case, I created a domain called videos. As if you look at this, it's blog, jobs, trial. So I need to wait a little bit for some time. So uh, once uh, you've waited after creating the subdomain, you can still go back and go to domain and SSL uh, to check if your domain has already been, your subdomain has been created. You can also come to this area and you'll be able to see the subdomains you created. Once you select that, you see here, uh, these are all the subdomains i have remember i created uh, videos but that subdomain is not yet ready so for the purpose of this video i can't wait much longer let me just use any subdomain i already have here one good thing you've known how to create it so you just have to wait for some time so now for you to set up the, the website what you're gonna do is go back to menu and you come to website and stores in this area come to create new website or store so when you reach this area you have freedom if you want specifically a wordpress site you can actually click on this area but in case you want any other content management system like uh, joomla uh, e-commerce or any other system you can actually come to this so for this case let me just show you let me use the downer one so that you're able to understand all other things so you can notice this one brings you to the app center you just have to go to my.ionos.com flash app center in this area you have the choice to select what you need if joomla or any other cms you also have a chance to select the category from this area if you want the chat collaborative or e-commerce let me give you an example of e-commerce you see these are the e-commerce that are available here but for this case we just need the cms and in this case we need wordpress so let me just go to wordpress and click install now once you come to this you have two options there is buy manage the wordpress or you come down to manage wordpress yourself i i don't recommend this if you have enough money to use you can actually do this or you don't have any skill you can actually select this but if you have some skill on wordpress even if you don't have a skill i encourage you to come to this because on this website i upload videos about wordpress that will actually guide you to do whatever you need so come down to manage wordpress yourself so you're going to give the project the name so this is blog so we're going, just going to say blog i don't need to write much you give your website a title your project title so this is step one of three so you're going to click on that then in this in this case you're going to put in the username so i can leave this blog that's admin then i'm going to put in my password Yep, this is weak, but can work. So I can go ahead. And at this point, we have a chance to connect a domain. Remember, we had we created sub subdomains, and in this area, it only shows you a free domain. I remember I had three subdomains, but two are free. So I'm going to select blog.ugjobs.com. Then you go ahead to next. So domain is already connected. So what we're gonna do now is just install WordPress. So this could take a few minutes, depends on your internet speed. Well, the installation is already done. But in case it took long, if it takes very much longer, what you just do is go to blog.yourdomain.com and you should be able to come to this. But also you can just, then you go ahead and say wp-admin. This is also very quick, but since it has already completed successfully, I just want to take you through all the steps that we follow. So you go ahead and click edit website. 
Now, when you reach this part, it just gives you to put in your user details. Remember, I selected blog dash admin and the password. So I'm going ahead and log in. As you can notice, this is the dashboard of WordPress once you've installed it. So I, for me, what I usually do once I've logged into this, I first have to make sure it's not crowded. I make sure all this welcome page, quick things and everything is not on my page. I close that. So as you can see, this is what I have. I make sure I clean everything. Any plugin available here, I make sure it's removed. Deactivate this, disable, and I make sure I delete it. Also, any uh, post that could be there, I make sure it's deleted. It's in the trash and empty it. If there are categories, it's only one which you can delete because it's set as a default category for blog posts. So any pages available, I make sure I clear them all, then go to trash and also empty trash. Now, in this area, you're free to put any theme of your choice. If you've bought your theme from any th uh, theme provider, it's all okay. But uh, for this case, I always like uh, Generate Press. If you're using a blog or anything, I use Generate Press. It's a light theme, which works better for those who want to something so quick for sale and so many things. So once you finish that, you can actually put your necessary plugins. For this case, I don't need to show you anything. You're free to do anything of your choice. You can install a classic editor, a Jetpack. Those are all core plugins that you can always use for your blog and uh, in case you need specifically anything about WordPress kind of leave it in the comment section I will be able to record a video and make sure I'll be able to show you what to do but for this tutorial uh, this is all I have to do for you however in the next video I'm going to give a complete review of IONOS hosting as five reasons why you should not take IONOS as your hosting and also maybe as few uh, pros of ionos hosting so thank you very much for watching uh, please if you have not subscribed or if it's your first time to watch uh, these videos or watch videos from this channel kindly check down there there is a subscribe button click on it and it doesn't cost anything you're just going to be part of the community so whenever i post you'll be the first person to see what i have posted thank you very much and uh, please like share the video bye